allow me for a moment, Mike. I'll give you yes. your I'll give you the floor here for a moment, but take your time, please, sir. Dude. So yesterday, I'm gonna try and at least do like the way that it all happened and and the way that I I uh, I heard everything. So yesterday in the afternoon, I hear, "Hey, WWE is going to be allowing some fans into the building for Raw tonight. Select fans in the area." This person at first thought it was going to be like some of the people that show up for the the old NXT tapings, but as it turns out, WWE decided they were going to allow friends and family into the Performance Center for Raw. So it was going to be the normal Performance Center wrestlers. It was going to be some friends and family. I was also told, I think some people from Office Wrestling School or something like that. But anyway, they were going to have more people in the Performance Center. So we report this. Raw's getting ready to go on the air. Everything seems like whatever. And then I got an email. And it's from somebody who was very angry. And they said, WWE is not allowing anyone to wear masks. Not allowing anyone to wear masks. Not like, well, you know, if you if you want to wear a mask, go for it. But we're not requiring them. This person said they're not allowed. I thought, Wow. Well, I don't want to say anything until I, I hear from somebody else. So I start asking around other people, and it's actually a few hours. But eventually, I had two other individuals tell me that, in fact, they were not allowing you to wear a mask. Kevin Dunn, that was a name I heard. Kevin Dunn said, you're not a fan if you're wearing a mask. The other, the other I, I guess I guess Dave was told by somebody that they were told, like, if you want to wear a mask, just don't come. Okay? Now, today, of course, there's reporting out there that other people have been talked to and said they were never pressured to not wear a mask, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But, I mean, here's the reality, everybody. First off, I was told by multiple people that you... We're not allowed to wear a mask. If you want to wear a mask, don't show up. We don't want masks on our television, okay? So if you watch AEW Dynamite, and yes, AEW is being brought into this. If you watch AEW Dynamite, they're at Daly's Place. There's wrestlers out there. Other people are let in here and there. Uh, the National Guard was, was allowed to watch the show last week. If you look around, I mean, yeah, most people aren't wearing masks. But you know what? Some people are because if you want to wear a mask you're allowed to now if you go and watch wwe on national television how many people in the crowd have you ever seen wear a mask zero now in aw and granted it's not perfect but they're doing legitimate actual like throat swab whatever coronavirus testing WWE is just scanning everybody's forehead to check your temperature. So even all of these wrestlers that are undergoing actual coronavirus testing in AEW, some of them are still choosing to wear masks. There's never been a mask seen on WWE television. So WWE has decided, Kevin Dunn, Vince McMahon, that we don't want masks on television. You cannot wear them. So, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Florida is having this surge of cases. And WWE is not allowing people to wear masks when they're in the crowd at Raw. And granted, you know what they tell you to do when you're in the crowd? They tell you to start yelling and screaming. This six-foot rule like you should stay six feet apart from everybody else like if you talk to doctors they'll tell you that ideally it would be way more than six feet like we're talking it should be 18 feet or whatever and you know they've done studies what what is the transmissibility of this here and where is it most transmit and what they found is like if you're in close proximity to somebody who's yelling screaming doing what i'm doing right now then everybody should probably be more than six feet away so, anyway, 
I hear all this and I'm aghast. Then it turns out, we find out a little bit later, that a performer has tested positive for COVID. This is WWE's statement. A developmental talent who was last on site at WWE's training facility on Tuesday, June 9. Today's June 16th, by the way has tested positive for COVID-19. Since that time, no other individuals that attended the facility have reported symptoms. However, out of an abundance of caution, and to ensure the health and safety of the company's performers and staff, all talent, production crew, and employees on site at the training and production facilities will be tested for COVID-19 immediately. Following the test results, WWE plans to proceed with its normal television production schedule. So I want to make this abundantly clear, since I thought everybody knew this, but I tweeted it yesterday and people were flabbergasted. WWE has never performed one actual coronavirus test. Not one. When you hear them on commentary say that everybody was tested, what they meant was everybody was given a temperature check at the door. You know how many people end up in the ER with severe symptoms and at the time they don't have a temperature? Because testing your temperature on a scale of 1 to 1,000, I shouldn't say 1 to 1,000, on a scale of 1 to 100, if you're like trying to, to make sure that nobody has it, testing your temperature is like 5, all right? So basically, somebody tested positive they were at the facility June 9th, and unlike last time, they didn't tell everyone internally. They sent out a press release. It was all over social media. That's when everybody in WWE found out about it. Everybody that performed on Raw, everybody that was there in a crowd without a mask on, Ric Flair at 71, who almost died a couple of years ago, has had massive health problems. They all found out when you found out and you read about it on social media. You don't think people are furious? Well, they are furious. So, WWE has decided, well, we're going to do our first ever, on June 16th, we're going to do our first ever coronavirus test for everybody on Tuesday, and then we're just going to resume everything on Wednesday. No days off. No two-week quarantine for everybody that was exposed. Nothing. We're going to do a test, and we're just going to keep on going again. So the plan is that they're going to just resume tomorrow as if nothing has happened. And there's going to be fans in the building. They're not going to be allowed to wear masks. They're going to be yelling and screaming in the, in the facility located in Florida, etc. So today, WWE sent out a statement regarding this no mask policy. And this is what they said. They sent this out to the media. Fans have not been attendants at WWE events since March 13. Yesterday, a select number of friends and family were permitted to attend WWE's TV production. These individuals were required to participate in medical screenings prior to entering the closed set at our training facility and were kept apart from in-ring performers and production personnel. Attendance was below 20% capacity, and social distancing guidelines were adhered to with at least six feet between parties. Thus, face masks were not required. Bro! Was I imagining things when the Street Profits did their entrance and they high-fived all of the fans? <laughs> 